Controller versus mouse and keyboard. One of the great debates. Is controller easier with too much aim assist? Is it fair that keyboard players can use their whole arm to aim and controller players just have their thumb and that's it? What about all these extra mechanics keyboard players get to do so much easier? Like a scroll wheel reset or having many more buttons at our disposal versus a controller player or like a flick on a person or just to turn and build a wall to block really fast without affecting your sensitivity otherwise. There's so many differences and things people talk about with this. This is a long debated topic and I'm going to go over all my thoughts about it in this video as well as some other people's thoughts as well. I can guarantee you probably heard someone talk about something like this before. This is a topic that relates to just about everybody because you have to use a controller or a keyboard to play all your games. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into the video. Okay, first things first, let's be honest. If you're a controller player, controller requires no talent and honestly, you have no skill if you have to use a controller because it helps you aim and that's for babies. That's kind of obvious. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Come on, I had you for a second, right? It was just a joke. Calm down. Okay, okay, in all seriousness. No, the first thing I want to talk about is that I played video games for about 20 plus years. In the last 15 of those years, I played on a controller from Nintendo to PlayStation to Xbox to the kind with paddles on the bottom to all kinds of controllers. And for about the past five to six years, I've been on the mouse and keyboard. So I think it's fair to say I have pretty good experience on both, which I think that helps my opinion carry just a little bit more weight because I don't favor one over the other. Yet I've played both of them a lot and i've played them in all sorts of different games from single player story games all the way to competitive first person shooters the biggest debate in this topic is typically around competitive though so we'll focus on that i just wanted to let you know where my opinion was coming from because i have played on everything and a lot of people who have an opinion on this haven't spent a good amount of time on the other input and i mean a good amount of time a lot of times i'll hear someone be like oh yeah i played it for a bit i don't mean you played it for a few days or even a few months i mean you put years of work into it meaning you completely understand how the players think that play that input and the other one too it's not just about the mechanics it's also the mindset that the player has so if you haven't done that then i think personally your opinion doesn't carry as much weight as someone like me or someone who has done that and all that person ends up doing is talking about something that they don't fully understand so it just gets bad information out there about this topic and i feel like it influences people in the wrong way and i want to make it clear just like i said earlier i don't favor one side over the other i truly believe they both have their pluses and their minuses one of the biggest things that people have to remember is that they're two different inputs and you shouldn't be comparing them as they're the same meaning you can't do things like the aim it doesn't really make sense to do that to say something like well i need extra help on my thumb because the mouse and keyboard gets their whole arm or saying something like the mouse and keyboard has scroll wheel reset so the things that we have as advantages on a controller are definitely well deserved in my opinion that's more like me asking hey man what's your favorite kind of sports car and they responded i really like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches you can't compare a car to a sandwich it doesn't make sense. I know it's a little out there, but you get the point I'm trying to make, right? Sometimes it doesn't make sense to compare something just because you can. This next part might make you hate me, but I'm just being honest with my opinion. The aim assist on a controller in almost every single video game, especially Fortnite, is without a doubt too strong. Now, it used to be even worse. And I know a lot of you are going to tell me, no, it's not. It needs to be stronger or whatever it might be. But not just my opinion. A lot of people who have played both inputs have this opinion and they play a lot of different games. And it's very clear. Like I said, it's way too strong for a competitive sense. But don't click off the video. Let me please explain myself. It is absolutely harder to aim on the controller than it is the mouse and keyboard. That's obviously known. That's why you have aim assist. But when you achieve that high level above average gameplay, and I'm talking professional, like near pro, not just you play every once in a while or whatever, like you're actually cracked my guy. And you still have that extra help aiming when you have all the mechanics, all the game knowledge of what you should do and how enemy players move and react and some of the most accurate and steady thumbs in the business. It's a bit too much to also have help aiming. Like I said, don't compare it to the mouse and keyboard because you really shouldn't be doing that. Try to just think of it of its own entity right now without the mouse and keyboard at all. And just think about what I said. You're already really good, far above average. You're much better at the game than most people are. And you still have extra help aiming, but you're already really, really good at aiming. It doesn't seem right to me to have extra help in a competitive sense. This is something you're not doing. Something is doing it for you. Think about that. 
I know it's not fully doing it for you, but it is helping. I've seen clips where it literally follows people. And I think we can all agree it's a bit too much in some instances. Anybody that's seen these ridiculous clips where all the shots connect on a controller? And do you think there's nothing wrong with that at all? In a game for money, I guess I can't help you. It was never designed for this. It was designed to help someone new that isn't a crazy good player become better at aiming at the game. Because it is very hard to aim with just your thumb, especially for someone that's not very good at games. Not for someone that's crazy. It's not made for them. Like I said, I respect your opinion. I just hope you spent a good amount of time on the other end input before judging both of them and if you want to compare it to a mouse and keyboard i guess we can every single input from the mouse and keyboard is completely raw with no help at all and yes you can pull off a few extra mechanics but it's not fair to compare the extra mechanics to getting extra help on your aim especially in a game like fortnite where they can be at a very far distance and just get a laser on you or up close and all the mechanics in the world can help you from this and that's not fair and i understand the same thing can happen on a mouse and keyboard too but the difference is when it does happen it is solely because of the input of the user so they deserve every last bullet so yes it is way harder to play every single game at all on the controller it's harder to do way harder well not every game fall guys is way better on controller but i'm talking about first person shooters right now but the argument between they have more mechanics and our aim should be stronger because of that just doesn't make any sense if you can get really good on a controller, that is way harder to get really good on a mouse and keyboard. But don't get me wrong, I have a lot of respect for you controller players. It's not like I don't. And I'm still a controller player every once in a while. But that's basically all I gotta say about it. Am I crazy? Do you agree with me at all? I wanna hear from everybody. Tell me down in the comments. I really appreciate you watching today. If you could go as far as to give this a thumbs up and actually comment your opinion. Heck, I don't care. Give me a thumbs down if you hated the video. It really helps it do well. If you ever feel like watching me live, I live stream on Twitch almost every night of the week. Link to my other socials in the description. Thank you so much for watching and check out one of these videos now. The algorithm really thinks you'll like it. It kind of creeps me out that they know what you like. But hey, less scrolling for you. Have a good rest of your day, everybody. I appreciate you.